Life is full of stressful moments. No, no, no! What happened? Learning to manage and control these difficult situations is an important skill for children to learn. And as this study by Heidelise Alls of the Harvard Medical School shows, this is something all children can do, even the most fragile, premature newborns. Preemies spend their early days in medically advanced environments that allow them to survive outside the womb. Dr. Alls and her team spent time observing the care of some of the most difficult cases in the neonatal intensive care unit with babies born 10 to 12 weeks before their due dates. They watched how the babies responded to typical good medical care. His fingers would splay and he would start to scrunch and his color would change and his heart rate would go up. I saw these babies flailing about and fighting, lying on the back, and the bright overhead lights seemed much too much for them, and the alarm would go off, and it, it looked pretty awful. So it seemed we were wasting a lot of the baby's energies that were very precious and limited by going, if you will, against the baby. It seemed to Dr. Alls and her colleagues that the good medical care came at the price of good developmental care. So I thought these babies are telling us something that we're not taking advantage of. Dr. Alls and her colleagues created a new protocol of care that was more individualized, responsive, and respectful. The lighting was dimmed and sounds kept to a minimum, creating a womb-like environment. When a baby became agitated, nurses would cradle her until breathing became more stable. If the baby's hands splayed out, they'd be given something to hold on to. And you feel the baby taking over and taking hold of his own or her own coming back to base and now being there, if you will. The baby is considered as actively constructing its own development. This developmentally supportive approach made a big difference. These babies were fed independently earlier, came off ventilators sooner, and left the hospital faster than those who were given more traditional care. The lessons for this study have meaning for kids of all ages. We can help children manage stress by building on their own capacities. Watching what helps young children calm themselves down, such as being held, then using this strategy to help them calm down. And with older children, adults can ask them for their own ideas of what helps when they get upset, such as having a flashlight by their bedside if they have nightmares, or deep breathing if homework overwhelms them. You almost finished? Studying for the test tomorrow. We are helping them learn to take on challenges.